Hello, Mary the Movie Demon here, and I got my tie on, but we are not doing Hellish Horror Movie Nights right now. That's when you'd normally see this. I'm actually just going to show you how to tie a tie. I see people asking for this um, and asking about this. I got another tie here because black on black was going to be hard to see, so I got this for your benefit. Um, this knot here... I believe it's called a four in one. I've heard it called hand and a half knot. Um, I just call it really easy to do. And it's for a bigger neck because it takes less tie to tie it. That way it's not incredibly short. It's not like ending right here. It's good length for someone with a larger neck. Um, larger humans, larger demons, we have big necks. We need a you know tie that's got a smaller knot that leaves enough of the tie left for you to have a tie. So we're going to do that, and half Windsor knot, which is a pretty common knot, um, looks pretty good. This one doesn't always look great. It kind of looks a little lopsided. It, like this end of like the triangle looks a little longer than this end. It, it always looks lopsided, but unless you get really close, you can't tell. So I like to do it that way just so that it's long enough that it looks normal. Um, so I'll show you that one first. It's very simple. Uh, you got your small little piece here, and then your big fat piece, which I call the head and the tail. Um, like you're wrapping a snake around your neck, basically. Um, you want the seam in the back. You don't want that showing. This is the front. You want the front in the front. So you start with the short tail. You take the head from the left or the right side, but I'm going left to right in front of the tail and then behind it from right to left and then again left to right in front that puts two bands of tie in the front a rear and a front one okay and then you're practically done see this neck hole here now that we're over here we're going to go up through the back of the neck hole with the head of the tie straighten it out and then those two bands you want to get your finger into the first band the front band and tuck the head through the front band only there and just pull down through there it's tied done and see how it's a little off center it's a little crooked and not perfect that's you know that's this knot it's not perfect but it's a knot it's a tie and you grab the knot you grab the tail and you pull the tail till you choke yourself with it and that's how you wear the tie uh, to undo it you just kind of pull on it and this one will actually unravel itself as soon as you pull the tail out you can just like that and it's unraveled that was easy to take off it's easy to put on wrap it around twice up through the neck hole down through the front very simple. I'll show it to you again. I'll actually get a little closer for you. Around the front, left to right, around the back, right to left, to make one ribbon or one band in the front. Then around the front again, left to right, just like the first time, to make the second band. This is common in like all ties. You're going to always have a front band to push through. And then you go up through the back. Grab your tie, get your little front pocket through your front band of tie here, and you stuff it down through. And you've tied your tie. Done. And you pull from the tail to tighten. And if you could see the whole way down, it goes about to my belt. Um, the bloody one's actually slightly longer. I think because the tail was shorter, I believe, uh, when I started. <clears throat> this one has the little keeper in the back, so you can tuck the tail into it. Um, put on a tie clip or pin or whatever. But we're going to take this one off, and I'm going to show you the half Windsor, which is a better knot. Um, I don't generally wear it because it gets a little short on me. Not terribly short, I can do it, especially if I start with the tail much shorter. I'm going to start back here in frame better. <laughs> um, so, do the same starting move. Left to right, 
head in front of tail. You come around the back. Instead of going in front again, you're going to go into the front of the neck hole from the left side. And then out the right of the back. <clears throat> and that makes a tiny little knot. Okay, you see that? And then you go around the front from the left now, since you come out the left side. And that makes your front band. And then you go up through the neck hole and tuck it in. It's a little different. This one looks better. The knot looks better. It's much straighter. The tie ends up being straighter. You don't have the little off-centered triangle looking thing generally. I don't think I did that right. It doesn't actually look good. It usually does. That doesn't look bad actually. It's a little fatter knot um, tucked under a collar. It looks a lot better. I could do the bloody one in a half Windsor and we'll see. But this one you can't just yank. It won't just come out because you'll just make a tighter knot. You have to actually untie it. A lot of people when they do tie a tie, if they don't like to do this, they don't want to remember it, whatever, they'll tie it once and then they'll slip it down, pull it up over their head and hang it. And then when they got to put it back on again, they'll just stick it around their neck, slide it under their collar and then yank it back up again. You only have to tie it one time. So you may only have to do this once. But we'll go across the front again, and then through the front of the neck hole, and out the right side, instead of around the front, to the right. Making that little crisscross knot thing. And then from right to left now, backwards, across the front. Up through the neck hole. and down and who knows the next hellish horror movie night maybe I'll tie the bloody tie this way I don't generally do that but why not what's it gonna hurt besides my neck <clears throat> now I actually don't mind ties there you know torture it's my thing so there you go there's a half Windsor knot that's how you do it there so there maybe you can look more stylish at the movies at work going out at a wedding whatever just don't wear a clip on <laughs> good night